Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Guess what? Yes, I am finally here with my Glossy Box unboxing for March 2023. I'm um, a little bit late, I'm so sorry. Um, this is kind of gifted to me from Glossy. I'm part of the Glossy Circle. So yeah, I get this every month to unbox my channel, share with you all and show you what is inside. There are links down below in the description box. So you probably noticed that a lot of my videos are just like really late or missing, especially like with my project pans and like some of the little projects I'm doing that way. Um, I do apologize. Life is a little bit chaotic right now. Lots of stuff going on in the background that I don't really want to share with you right now, but I will probably do in a couple of months. So once I've retired and things have settled down, I'll, um, I'll give you a bit of a life update. And plus then it'd be a really good time to do my channel update as well, because obviously I'll be moving into retirement, stopping work, so I'll have more time available. So I'll give you a proper update in sort of like six weeks or so. But for today, we are here with my glossy box. So yeah, oh, also moving back to that, thank you so much to everyone for your support and kind words. And I did pop a little post up on my community tab and lots of you responded to that, asking if I'm okay. I am fine. There's just a lot of stuff going on in the background that, yeah, that I don't really want to share right now, but I will share um, soon when the time is right. So let's get in. I haven't even unboxed this. I'm so behind. Um, I'm really apologising. So I've got here my March box. I've also got a Mother's Day box to share with you and the egg. So I think the Easter egg is now sold out. So I'm so sorry, but we'll still have a look at the products together and give you my thoughts and I'll do a separate video on that. But for now, let's get into this. So let me just, oh God, I can't even get the box out the box. Okay. Um, this one's box. Ta-da! is just the regular pink glossy box which are fab for storage i love these they're brilliant um can't remember what the theme is either it is dreamy days and then we get a little qr code on here which we need to scan i have got my ipad charged up so i am semi organized and um, it doesn't always scan for me so her fingers crossed we can scan the code she says where's the camera bit um scan 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 yes right okay it's accepted that let's have a little look no yes oh it's been very slow the march uk digital magazine it's just loading up and this is what happens when you scan your qr code you get basically the little leaflet as a digital copy so a uh, dreamy days let's swipe through see if we can get a little bit of um, an introduction so here we go a little note from the editor it just says as the new season awakens and the first blooms of spring begin to appear it's time to refresh your beauty bags and revitalize your beauty routine make room for delicate fragrances luxurious skincare picks and beautiful makeup looks our march dreamy days edit has to offer um, experience a spring clean like never before and enter the new season feeling light-hearted and oh so dreamy well, i think we could all do a little bit of that um and it just says with March, marking the first days of spring, we also open a new beauty door. We want to inspire you with romantic makeup looks, delicate fragrances and skincare as light as a feather. The March box is full of surprising product must-haves um, in refreshing colours to elevate your spring beauty routine. Your start into the new season will be lighthearted and dreamy. So there we go. That's kind of like showing you um, the thoughts behind the box. We're just going to see if there is a sneak peek for next month. Um, let's have a little look. Um, ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. There's loads of like other information on here and little um, features and things like that. There's a little bit there about the Easter egg, but obviously that's sold out now. Sorry. And then the April edition is going to be called Bloom and Grow. Um, it actually doesn't tell you though anything about the product it just says that i will see if there's anything on the next page if there's a no so there is no product sneak peek just what the theme is going to be 
So let's swipe back, get to the products, and then we can start looking inside the box. I'm sure you've probably already um, seen lots of these unboxings by now. However, I think sometimes it's quite nice to unbox later in the month anyway, because you get bombarded with everyone unboxing their boxes as soon as they arrive. And this is just like maybe a little gentle reminder what was in the boxes. If you've got this already, just a little sort of reminder to go grab those products. Or if you haven't subscribed to Glossy Box yet, it's like just a little reminder again about it's probably still available. Grab on and get yourself a box. So it comes like this with the tissue paper and the ribbon. And at least it is tied in a bow this month. There have been a few suspect months. Um, get this, this sticker done. Let's have a look. I'll show you first. Oh, we can't really see much, can we, there? So prepare to let it go. Disney Frozen West End Musical. Okay, do we get a... Oh, I think they've got like a, a deal on with the... Um, there's a deal on there with the tickets. Cool, and there was a feature. I did actually see something in the magazine about Frozen as well. So, very, <laughs> the noodles are just plonked on top. Let's get rid of those. And there we go. Those are our products for the month. So, let's see. I'll try and do it in order because it's easier when it's a digital format rather than going backwards and forwards. So, the first product I am going to pull out is, is it even this? Have I got it right? Well, maybe I should just grab something. Here we go. So it is from, is it Hogobe? Jogobe? Hogobe? And it is a niacinamide serum. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Actually, I do like skincare. I enjoy using um, different serums. The packaging is very simple and basic, isn't it? Um, so this is a deluxe size worth £10. Um, concentrated and nutritious, the niacinamide serum from Hogobe <laughs> will give your skin a new lease of life. The skin loving ingredients of agaricane mushroom, hyaluronic acid, and allantoin will protect, tighten, and smooth your skin tone whilst balancing your natural hydration. So, yeah, I mean, we'll give that a little go. I think we have had something from this brand before. But the packaging is so basic, isn't it? Is it going to... There we go. So that's that. That's the first product. Second product I'm quite interested in, actually. And it is from Colour Wow. And it's a one-minute transformation styling cream. So I'll give this a little go. It is a deluxe size, again, worth £9. Smooth and tame your frizz with Colour Wow's one-minute transformation Perfect for on the go. This quick frizz fix will recondition dehydrated hair, banish bedhead, and give a glossy fake blow dry in minutes. Okay, so be interesting to see what that's like. I hope it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy. Um, apply a small amount to frizzy, unruly <laughs> hair, um, and, and brush through with a flat brush. I'm just trying to work out if you pop it on wet hair, dry hair. Maybe try both. It might be nice just to try a little bit on damp hair before you blow dry it, maybe. Or if you've just got those like frizzy ends, you can pop a tiny bit in your hands, rub it together and pop it on like that. But we'll try that out. Feedback, I'll let you know. Next thing we have got is, okay, this looks quite good. It is... Probably is a liquid eyeliner and it is in espresso. It is worth £15 and it just says get the perfect wing with tints liquid eyeliner. This is um, it's a colour rich formula. This product will glide onto your skin seamlessly, will give you a strong eye colour payoff. So a strong colour payoff to create a unique eye look. Oh, so is I'm hoping then this is a brown. I really like brown liners at the moment. They're so much um, more flattering. They're more flattering than black, in my opinion. And they suit everybody. Now, I really like this packaging. I like how it's got like that ombre ends. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a uh, screw. Ah, is it actually a proper liquid line? I was thinking it was a pen. Make sure you get it the right way. Okay, so the side of the tint is, that's well, got the brush on. You've got to pull that out and the product, oh, 
is in the bottom. So it is a proper traditional liquid liner. Um, let's pop that down for now. And then let's see what this is like. Oh, you can get a fine line with that. I like the look of that. I really do. It is a really, really fine brush. Look at that. Oops. I've just hit that with the... Um, this bit here but look at the lines that creates really really fine in like a dark sort of a dark dark brown really lovely i'm happy to get that and as i said i really like that packaging i think that's really cool put that away my blooming husband phony mate when i'm in the middle of a video i record my videos on my mobile phone i say this loads of times don't i and if anyone rings it cuts off the video so if you know how to stop that from happening do let me know because it stops me and then to just upload it straight away then i have to put it into an editing program and combine the two videos together it drives me mad anyway the next product and is it the file? The, oh no, the next product is from Orica and it is a fragrance stick. Um, I'm not sure. I'd started talking about this. So I'm going to just start the product from the beginning again. I haven't actually opened it. Um, so yeah, it's not a liquid perfume, like a, a liquid. Yeah, a liquid. It is in a stick. So that sounds really, really interesting. It is worth £17. It's Orica Solid Fragrance Stick. Add a wave of freshness with this solid fragrance stick from Orica Iconic. Buildable. So it's iconic, buildable and personalised. Apply this perfume to your wrists and neck for a feminine touch to your aura. So this for me is quite an interesting product. Um, I'm not sure if I've got great expectations from it with it being in a stick. However, this could be so useful. Just to yeah, keep in your bag for travel. Looks like a lipstick. How cool is that? I'm actually really interested in this. <laughs> really interested. Um... Oh my gosh. So look, that is it there. And that's the perfume. Let's, I'm going to, I've got perfume on already. I'll pop a bit on um, further up my arm here. So it feels really balmy. Oh, I actually think you can see that. It's got a slight... See if I do it on the back of my hand. Can you see? There. I don't know if that'll go in if you... If you rub it, I just, because it looks silvery there. I just, you don't want that kind of like lines down your neck. Um, do I like it? It smells like a candle, if I'm honest. It's okay, but I don't think it'd be a go-to. Um, let's see what it's like and if it settles down. But it smells more like a candle fragrance. <laughs> um which is a bit weird oh i'm slightly disappointed with that i really wanted that to be a fragrance that i loved but um i quite like the concept of it and i would definitely give it a go and i might well i've got a lot when i get down my perfumes it might be something that i'll look at um to see their other fragrances and what they are like okay next product and it is the final product and so it this is a variation, so you'll receive one of three things. So you're either going to receive a Skin & Co. Roma Citrus Amaro Hand Cream. you receive a L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream or a Prey Ages Throat and Decolletage Cream. So it's going to be one of those things that you receive. I'm really happy with mine. I didn't want the Prey Neck & Throat Cream because we've had that loads of times. Um, I haven't tried the Skin & Co. Roma. So I'd have been really interested to try that. However, I have got the L'Occitane. This is a really, really good hand cream. If your hands are really dry, um, you will love this. I love it a lot. I've used them loads of times. And <clears throat> as you know, I'm a nurse and this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So this is the Shea Butter Hand Cream. It's a deluxe worth £9. Um, a beauty must have for at home work and on the go. Let the shea butter, argan and coconut oils contained delicately moisturise and nourish your hands to help awesomely dry or dehydrated skin. That's my husband home now, I think, sneaking in after so rudely disturbing me, <laughs> saying stick the kettle on, make a brew. Um, so let's have a look at this. Oh, okay, yeah, so anyway, yeah, that one is worth £9. The Skin & Co. Roma, if you've got that, was worth eight and if you got the prey body cream um, next cream that was worth five so 
either of the hand creams i think you're doing okay so let's have a little look again at the box and see what we think of it all in all so we have got in here i'll just put everything here do i think it's what was the thing dreamy days dreamy days he's now got the tv going and the kettle going <laughs> men. so we have got the um the niacinamide cream we've got the hair cream the perfume stick the hand cream and the eyeliner so we've got a bit of skincare hair care makeup body care so overall a pretty um well balanced box no are there any full size oh yeah this will be a full size um it's not bad it isn't bad i'm slightly disappointed with the perfume but everything else i'm really interested to try um, the only thing I've ever tried before, actually, is the hand cream. So all the rest are new products to me. And that's what these boxes are really, really good for. Uh, discovering new um, products or new brands and then exploring those a little bit further. So all in all, not a bad box. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry it is so late. I hope you're all doing well. Take care and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye for now.